Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Joy, this is Annabelle and Tom is holding the camera. I'm a cameraman again. So if you watched our last video where I did uh, cooking African food for Tom, uh, most of you really loved it and uh, we, got, we got so many suggestions that uh, I should try to cook for Tom African breakfast. So today I'm going to cook African breakfast and this is what I'm, we are going to cook. So this is what I'm going to prepare for breakfast. So we have a maize, this is maize. As you can see I've washed it first. This is maize and we have beans here. So we call it gideri. Wow. Yeah, we call it gideri. Mm. So I'm going to prepare, how do we call gideri in English? Do you uh, know? Beans and sweet corn? Yeah, just mixed <laughs> together. So I'm going to cook gideri. Gideri is a typical uh, uh, African breakfast, uh, more so in the villages, like you know where I grew up in Kenya. So today I'm going to prepare maize and beans. So if you mix them together, it's called gideri in our language. And baby? Hmm? Do you add any tomato in there or? No, first of all, first of all, you you boil it. So first of all, we are going to boil it until it's soft. Oh. So enjoy the video. So guys, uh, I'm going to prepare my gideri in pressure cooker because uh, it's like it saves time. <coughs> Hi princess, you want to see? Come. You know you are sick, right? So I'm going to prepare it in uh, our pressure cooker because it takes a uh, little time. It doesn't take too long. So this is the beans I'm going to use. Water is already in and maize. A lot of people are using too much beans. Mm -hmm. Gideri. Remember when you were telling me this is the only beans that I'm Yeah, I was use. surprised that you're using very little beans. Yeah, so I don't like when uh, I have too much beans in my Gideri. So I just love when it's late. Oh. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to use. But people are different. Some people are using too much beans and just... A lot of beans, yeah? Yeah, a lot of beans and uh, just few maize. So yeah, so I'm just going to mix them together. Wow. Yeah, just like that. Mm. Yeah. And I love pressure cooker because it saves so much time. Yeah. Can you cook it in a normal pot, baby? Yeah, in the village we always cook it in a normal pot. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to boil it. Guys, so our breakfast, we are ready to make our breakfast. Uh, as I told you that we were going to make African breakfast. So the reason why I'm saying African breakfast because most African foods are somehow the same. But also this is, some, uh, this is what we use in Kenya. So African breakfast. So we boiled our gideri. Mm -hmm. Gideri is uh, maize mixed with beans. So it's now well boiled and uh, I'm just going to fry it. Mm. So we have, uh, let me put this one aside. I'm going to explain what, hey, is, what is that. I'm going to explain it. Let me just finish with sure. this one. Mm. So we have um, cor uh, coriander, mm. right? We have uh, uh, tomato. tomato, but most people sometimes in their gideri, they don't use tomato. I prefer using tomato. Mm. They just use onion. Mm -hmm. And we have this one is onion, chopped onion. Chopped onion, okay. Then we have uh, garlic. A little bit of garlic. And salt. Some salt. All these ingredients we are going to use in uh, our gideri, but I'm not going to fry everything. So I always make a big portion, then um, I freeze it. Oh, so you boil boil a lot because yeah. it takes long time? It, it takes long time, so I boil a lot, then I just keep it in uh, the freezer. Mm. So if I want to use it anytime I want to use it, I just pick it from the freezer and fry. Good idea. Yeah. So <laughs> this part here, we have, uh, we are going to make porridge. Uh -huh. I, could have made, uh, I could have made for you tea, but most, uh, mostly in Africa, we use porridge. More so in Kenya, we use and porridge. And you add it into this, or what? No, 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 no. This one, this one is like tea, like what you take with the, with the, with yogi dairy. Oh. So like tea. Okay. So we are going to use porridge. Mm. So this is a flour. Uh, it's a millet mixed with sorghum. 
Oh. And I also have, um, so I have two different types of uh, uh, porridge flour. This one I'm going to use, the one that my mom sent to me. Mm -hmm. This one, mm -hmm. this is what we use in the village. Yeah. But this is the one that you ordered from me from Kenya, baby. Oh. So it's also, uh, uh, how do we call it? It's also, you see, red sorghum. Oh. Red sorghum. Sorghum, yeah. Mm. So no chemicals, additives, yeah. or preservatives. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going and, to use this one. And it's exactly the same. Yeah, but this is just uh, only sorghum, red sorghum. But this is millet mixed with sorghum. Oh. So this is the one that my mom sent to me. Oh. That's okay. what I'm going to use. Mm. And we have our cooking pot for this. So I'll put this one aside. Mm -hmm. As I do this one. So this is just a. Uh, just a little, I don't like too much. Mm -hmm, a little bit of oil. Yeah. Mm. Onion. Mm. Yeah. And we fry it, right? Yes, we fry it. Until gold, is it? Until it Until turns brown. brown. Yes, yeah, so let's wait. As we wait for our onion to fry, I think I'm going to cook two, uh, two things at a time to save time because I'm so hungry. Me too. I can't wait, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Anna, when you want more, I'm Hello. ready. She wants more avocado. It's not avocado, baby. Oh, mango. It's mango. <laughs> she, she, had, she had already, she took her breakfast, but she loved her mm. mango. Yeah, Mama. I'm going to make myself a coffee, baby. Mm. I said I'm going to cook two things at a time as we wait for this one to turn brown. So I'm going to add the water here, mm. you know, just like this for us to make kuchi. So this is typical African food, right? Yeah, yeah, this is what we use in our village, more so in the village. I love showing people what, uh, in the village, what we use, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Wow, multitasking, baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to. Uh, I like multitasking, baby. So, just like this. So, then you're going to boil your water, and you add this on your boiling water. Okay. Yeah. So, this one, I think it's ready. So, we are going to boil our water. Oh. You know. And what are you boiling that water for? For Uji. For this. So you will add this one into this. Oh. Into the boiled water. Oh. Yeah. And why don't you just add the flour in the water? Uh, I'm just using the tips that I grew up seeing my, my parents doing. Uh -huh. You know, some people do, do that. Mm -hmm. The same thing that you've said. They just add this here. Yeah. Oh guys, I forgot. We have lemon, so I'm going to use lemon on this. Oh. Yeah, to add a little bit of squeeze the, the water, the so lemon water. It adds flavor. Yeah, oh. for it to have flavor. <laughs> yeah, we also add some flavors, you know, which, <laughs> but just with the lemon. You know, and yeah. some use sugar, but uh -huh. Tom doesn't take sugar. So we have... You know why I don't take sugar, baby? I don't know. Because I'm sweet enough. Ah. Oh. That's a joke. That's a good joke. You're sweet enough, right? It's almost ready. Let me try this one. I'm going to try this one. Maize. Mm -hmm. Boiled maize. Yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Tasteless but good. Yes. I'm hungry. I eat anything. Mmm. So tomato and the onion. Yeah. Mm. But most people, most people, more so in the village, some mm -hmm. people they just eat it like this without mm -hmm. frying. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but uh, I think the frying and the onion, uh, the onion add some flavor. Yeah. yeah. Baby? Yeah. And can I add this one or not? Yeah, yeah, sure. Curry powder. It's okay. You can use as many spices as you want. Like people are so different. Some people love spices. Some don't love spices. Mm -hmm. So you can use as many spices as you want in your food. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. 
I'm so hungry, baby. Yeah, I'm so hungry too. I'm happy that Annabelle is full. Mm. So even if the parents are hungry, the child is. Oh. <laughs> This one is ready, oh my this god. This one is boiling already, yeah? Yeah. Oh my god. So mm -hmm. you add this like this. So this is our uji. We mm. call it uji in Kenya, but it's a mm -hmm. porridge. Porridge? Yeah. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Then you just stir, you know. Right now it looks weird, like water. It's very watery. Yeah, but it will, uh, how do you call it? Thicken. Yeah, it will thicken. Thank you for that. <laughs> for your help. So this is for... Gideri? And now we are adding this. Oh, garlic. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love garlic. Yeah, I have used garlic because Tom really loves garlic so much. So, I want my baby to enjoy this. Mm. And this is, this Gideri, you've told me that uh, you eat it for breakfast? Yeah, like mostly we eat it for breakfast, lunch, even, uh, even, uh, okay, in Africa, like mm -hmm. in Kenya, we use it for breakfast, uh -huh. lunch, and sometimes dinner, uh -huh. you know, but as at our home, we always use it as a uh, uh, breakfast. So guys, you see our, our hood is thicken up. thicken up, let me reduce. So it's starting to get to be uji, right? To be porridge. Mm. And did you add any salt or sugar in that? No. Well, no. In it so baby, can you help me with this? You cut it, then uh, you squeeze it. I just sure. Need, I just need water. Yeah. Cutting lemon. And now I'm going to use my salt, guys. So, baby, you want me to squeeze some lemon? Yeah. Okay. Mmm, lovely. Baby, is this enough? Yeah, just do all of that. All of it, is it? Yeah. Ooh. Is it not going to be too sour? No. Let me just do this. All right. It's here, baby. Yeah, so hard it. No, How much? Just... I don't want to overdo it. No, just add. Yeah, that's enough. Then you stir. Whoa. Me multitasking. No, no, no. Let's just... That one is okay, baby. Let's... <laughs> let's focus on this, on this one, is it? Yeah. Let's focus on that one. Just like that. And this is a healthy food, guys. Uji, uh, porridge is healthy, you know? Uh -huh. mm. Remember when you made for me uji when we were in Kenya and you were using a lot of thin milk? I think I made it with milk, baby. Yeah, milk. I was like, oh my god, no, what is this? Yeah, I made uji with milk. Yeah, milk. And you didn't like it. Baby, I loved it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. But so this is the typical African, how we make it in Africa. We are done. We are done. I'm just going to add this. So add oh. this one. No, 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 no. What? What? Not in Uji, baby. <laughs> oh, you don't sorry. Add... In here? Yeah. Oh. oh, my God. You almost destroyed that. Uh, yes, that. Mama. Daddy wanted to add coriander in Uji. Oh, Who does sorry. that? I didn't know. Whoa. <sighs> yeah, just like that. I love coriander. Yeah, it gives a nice taste and flavor. Mm. So that one is ready, baby. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. It's okay. So we are done. This one is ready. Wow. Okay, let this... me take the camera, baby, and you can introduce the meal you cooked. Okay, let me introduce the... Oh, baby, do you want this? Uh, but I think I'll add a little bit on my uh, and you are, yeah. on my plate, yeah. so it doesn't destroy your taste. So guys, our our breakfast is ready. So come close, baby. This is gideri. How do we call gideri in English? Like I literally don't have any English. Is that name. not chickpea? No, it's sweet corn. It's not sweet corn. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's maize. It's maize mixed with the beans. Can you tell us in the comment section how do we call gideri in English? Uh, Beans mixed with the with the maize. maize. 
so let us know in the comment section then we have our porridge so porridge we have uh, this is a uh, sorghum mixed with millet then we have uh, lemon most people use uh, sugar like you can add sugar for it to be more tasty so i always use uh, honey you know i always use honey mm. since i met tom it doesn't take sugar so i prefer taking honey instead of sugar mm. so i'll add honey on mine tom will just take it that so way baby, can we please go and eat i'm so hungry yeah let's go Mm. Lovely. Sir, I think I'll put my uji in the flask, the, the remaining one. Okay. Yeah. So guys, our breakfast is now ready and we are now going to enjoy our breakfast. And so, yeah. I can't wait to taste this uji. Yeah. So let us know in the comment section what is the, the typical breakfast in your country? What are some of the typical breakfasts that most people use so this is the typical breakfast in kenya so wuji porridge and uh, how do we call it gideri gideri and also in the comment section let us know how do we call gideri in english baby i can't wait i have to eat yeah, okay yeah how do you eat it with wuji baby so it, just like the way you can eat it with the um, tea like drink it with tea mm. this is really really good yeah so it is really tasty and the same thing with this one like it's such a simple meal but it is so delicious like yeah. wow yeah mm. and i drink it with this yeah that's how we drink it so you drink it with that so baby what is the typical food in czech like what most most people use uh, as their breakfast like yeah the typical one we eat bread mm -hmm. eggs sausages this gidari baby whoa i'm so surprised how nice it is such a simple meal yeah it's so nice right very hearty mm. filling tasty baby yeah you cook me this meal i'll eat it any time it's nice right mm. so you know what what i really love with the with the, some african food that we take them direct from the from the farm that is really good I love Gidari. Is there any other name but Gidari for it? No, no. In, in Luo we call it Nyoya. Mm -hmm. You know, Nyoya is in Luo. But in, if you say Gidari in Kenya, everybody will know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know in other countries how they call it, and I don't know English name for Gidari for sure. So if you know and you're watching this video, let us know in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much, guys. So we are now going to enjoy our food. You can see Tom is enjoying the his meal mm. like most people they do, they don't think that they will ever love african food and that's but, exactly what i thought but guys let me tell mm. you something if you get somebody who really know how to prepare african it really depends food, how you cook it how you prepare it yeah mm. yeah you will love it so that's why when you told me that no i don't think whether i'll get used mm. to african food but since i started like cooking preparing mm. for you you mm. really loved it mm. you really love omena right mm. now and uh, i also really love check meal and tom will prepare some check meal for us so that we can see otherwise thank you so much for those people who have subscribed thank you so much if you haven't subscribed hit that notification bell and subscribe our youtube channel otherwise guys thank you so much and have a lovely time thank you guys bye stay cool bye.